Hello and salutations, my name is John Johnson and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we progressed quite a little bit. We got a lot of little stuff. We got uh, two songs, two heart pieces. It was a too old good time. Uh, that doesn't make any sense, I don't care. Uh, today, we're starting this episode right in front of Kokiri Forest, actually. We're going to be heading back home in this episode uh, to do a few things. Again, gathering a few things up, supplying up, if that if that makes any sense, before heading off to uh, the next major area of the game, which is Death Mountain. So let's head back into Kokiri Forest. We haven't been here in, in a, a little while. I'd like to say that, but really it's only been two episodes. Well, let's see, episode three... Episode four, yeah. So, yeah, it's been two episodes. Really, I haven't been on that long, to be perfectly honest, but whatever. So, here we are, go get forced. They didn't even know we were gone. See, old dude's here saying, we all, you didn't leave forced after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, now we're here in Kokiri Forest, we actually can make it nighttime, something you cannot do before uh, getting the sun song. Uh, because time does Well, actually, yeah, you can. Excuse me, that was stupid. You can let time pass in Hyrule Field and then walk into the forest, but it's easier with sun song, is what I am saying. Uh, now that it's nighttime, we actually have a few things we can do here. Or actually, really only one thing we can do here. Walk on back to the uh, the backside of the Know-It-All Brothers' house. And you have another gold sculpture. We've been racking these things up here, aren't we? There we go. You started gold sculpture, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, how many does that bring us up to, actually? Uh, we should have... Eight? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's eight. All right. I had to double check my notes to make sure I haven't missed any yet. I'm going to try really hard not to miss any heart pieces or uh, sculptures or anything like that. I actually do have an, a specific order I'm going by. So hopefully I won't screw it up and, you know, end up having to play the game a bajillion times and double check where all of them are and make sure to find the one I missed. Knock on wood. I don't want to dig myself. So now that we did that, we're actually going to be heading to a brand new area of the forest, the Lost Woods. Everybody knows Lost Woods. Lost Woods have, has made an appearance in many a Zelda game, and usually with the same motif. You can get lost in them, basically. <laughs> I know, amazing, isn't it? Also, the home of probably one of the greatest songs ever made, uh, Saria's song. Hint, 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 hint. Spoilers. Uh, but first off, before we actually do anything here, we're gonna come over here. I like the word here, don't I? Shoot this target three times in the middle, 100 points, and you'll get this Deku scrub to come up. Which is weird, because it actually looks like an evil Deku scrub. Also, I just noticed my, my seed is, like, still grinding into the target down there. <laughs> That's weird. Cool! You're great! You scored three perfect bullseyes! It wasn't that hard, I promise you. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. If you say so. And with that, we get a Deku Seed bullet bag. This bag can hold up to 40 slingshot bullets. One of the mini upgrades we'll be getting throughout this game. Uh, but probably one of the less useful, to be honest with you. After we did that, we can actually come down here in the the bottom area of this, I guess you can call it room, this area. And there are two Skull Kids with flutes. What they want you to do is pull out your ocarina and play a game with them. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. A down A. They'll play it twice, then you repeat it. You have to do this a lot, actually. Basically, this is a... Uh, what's that, that game? Simon... Simon, where it has the lights that light up and you have to hit them in the right order each time and it goes on and on. Basically, this, that's this. Now, the thing is, I actually need to concentrate a bit on this, so I'm going to cut commentary right here and probably just fast forward this until I succeed. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. With that, we get another heart piece. You got me down like little bit nut bit loving bad there. So yeah, you gotta do that three times. First time you get a green ruby, second time you get a blue ruby, and last time you get a piece of heart. That's actually kind of difficult. I never got that one as a kid. Well, I can't say never because I did 100% this a few times as a kid. Well, as a younger adult. Uh, but uh, definitely something that's that's a little bit of the harder end. On the harder end, that's what I was trying to say. Now, uh, the cool thing here, which... Uh, hey, over here. Good to see you again. Listen to this. You'll never believe what I'm about to tell you. 
After going through the lost woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Hoo hoo hoo. Do you want to hear what I said? No! No, I don't! You are courageous. You will make it through the forest just fine. Why am I going into Patrick all of a sudden? <laughs> just follow your ears and listen to the sounds come from Yeah. Basically what he's saying, as I was about to explain before I was so rudely interrupted by a certain avian evil being, is that uh, the song playing in the background, as I point out, sorry song, will actually play louder if you're heading in the right direction, as I, I'll demonstrate now. You hear it kind of quiet. And it gets super quiet if I head out this way. Now, if I walk out this door, it'll actually take me all the way back to the beginning of Lost Woods. But if I come over here, see how it's a little louder? We can go ahead and walk on through. And we can use this uh, all the way through the uh, the Lost Woods. Now, I used to actually have this way memorized. I think it's... Uh, now, it should be left right here. Yep. And then up. Or right, excuse me. Yep. Uh, so I still pretty much remember the, uh, the Sacred Meadow pattern. Here you are at the Sacred Forest Meadow, and as soon as you walk in, we get ambushed by a wolfie. And... Wow, that was incredibly easy. <laughs> yeah, they're not always gonna be that easy, but uh, that's a new enemy, a wolfos. There are different kinds throughout the entire game, but, uh... Actually, let's switch back to our Deku shield, because we can't deflect bullets from the Dekus without the, uh, the Deku shield. And, uh, we're actually... Uh, be coming to this and ow. Actually, we don't even need to deflect. I forget. We can either just walk right on by them, as long as we don't continuously get shot like that. And if you're fast enough, you can actually hit them before they even pop down into the ground. What do you want, Nobby? What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save her? I don't know. How about you shut your trap and we'll find out soon, okay? Okay. Navi annoys me! I think Navi annoys everybody. I realize the whole Navi is annoying joke is probably a little overplayed. I genuinely find Navi to be annoying as crap, though. I really honestly do. Don't get me wrong, she's helpful in certain situations, and technically, it's thanks to her that we can Z-target. That's extremely useful. So it's not like she doesn't have her uses. Nah! But she's really freaking annoying! <laughs> I'm sorry. She really just genu genuinely is. Alright, so here we are at the end of the uh, Sacred Forest Meadow Maze type area. And what is that in the distance? On the stump, with the green hair and the turtleneck and the ninja-like abilities, it is our favorite turtleneck ninja, Saria. <laughs> that is what I'm calling her for the rest of this LP, is turtleneck ninja, by the way. That, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, she looks so surprised to see us, not really. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us. Foreshadowing! That's what I feel. <laughs> if you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Sure. So it's kind of strange that I guess she just had multiple ocarinas. That's well, not that strange. I have like seven guitars, so I can't really say it's weird to have two of the same instrument. But I don't know, it, just, it strikes me as a little odd for some reason that she just gave her her other ocarina and now she's got another one. I have no idea why I find that odd, I just do. They even look the same, really. And with that, we learned yet another song! Four, so we're a third of the way through all the songs in the game already. Uh, this is the fourth song we've learned, Saria Song. Great, great! Please don't forget this song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria Song. You can talk with me anytime. Especially the song gives us ESP somehow, and lets it, uh, especially a, a cell phone. You can call Saria on it, we got her number now, so I guess that means we're going steady. I don't know how women work. <laughs> You've learned Saria Song, which is pretty neat. Yay! Alright, let's leave Saria here by her lonesome to play music by herself. And we're actually, I'm going to meet you guys back at the beginning of Lost Woods. We still have a few things to do before we end this episode off. So I'll see you guys in a second. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Hoo-hoo! Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? Are you stalking me, you stupid Patrick Clint Eastwood, whatever the crap voice I keep giving you, Al? That melody seems to have some mystery. What? There may be some other mysterious song like this that you can learn, Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with 
Where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed, just like this. Hoo 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 hoo. You didn't play anything! You're an owl! You can't music, okay? Do you want to hear what I say? Guess. Just guess which answer I'm going to give. It's no. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest at a subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. I used to have all of them memorized, actually. I'm sad to say that I don't anymore. I can go ahead and cut back in right there, because all, all we got to do is get, get back to the beginning of Lost Woods is not go that way. But actually go the wrong way, and it'll take us, spit us right back out in Kokiri Forest. Like, like so. And then we can just walk back in, and here we are back at the beginning. So now we learned Saria's song. There's actually uh, something we can do that's pretty neat. Walk into Lost Woods, come to the left, and we have yet another Skull Kid here playing the flute. As Skull Kids tend to do. I mean, what do you have to say about Skull Kids? Is this what happens to kids who get lost in the forest? He might be our friend if we do something. So there's a lot of theories that this is the Skull Kid from, uh, I think this one. Either this one or one of the two we just saw earlier, but specifically this one is what I've heard about. That this is actually the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. I don't know where I fall on that particular theory, but, eh, I could, I could see it. Had to remember the song real quick. <laughs> That's not quite Saria's song. Well, it just straight up tells you what to do there. Yeah, so this is kind of uh, illustrating what... I don't think I've ever actually felt that, so I've never seen that text bubble. Uh, kind of illustrating what Kapoor Gabor, who is that owl, by the way. I don't know if I ever mentioned his actual name. Uh, kind of describing what he says. Here, we can come play this song. And the Skull Kid gives us... You got bitten heart? Bitten out of heart? <laughs> oh, jeez, that actually hurt. <laughs> So yeah, with that, we get a whole brand new heart container, which is pretty friggin' cool, if I do say so myself. One last thing to do in this episode, and it's actually right over here. You may recognize this bridge is where uh, Saria gave us our ocarina in the first place. There's uh, one thing we can do over here. If we walk right here, there's a scrub. But this one looks a little bit different than normal scr uh, Deku scrub you fight. So let's reflect the thing back and see what it does. I surrender! To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku sticks. That does sound like it would be useful. But it'll cost you 40 bucks. I fine, I guess. So here we have a second upgrade we can get. The uh, upgrade to the Deco Sticks. Now we can carry 20 of them, which is pretty useful. Pre not not super useful, to be honest with you. But pretty useful. I told you before, Deco Sticks are, are one of the more powerful items in the game, uh, uh, funnily enough. Even though they are kind of not used for the most part. But eh, it's always cool to be able to carry more of something. So anyways, that's actually going to be it for this episode. Uh, we got a fair amount of compost, although most of it was getting lost in the Lost Woods. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, got a fair bit of compost, so let's, we'll go ahead and call it here. And uh, as always, like, like, leave a comment, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please share with friends. And I'll see you guys next time, and let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.